Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Bucket List. We are here with our Sim, and today on our bucket list, we are going to be possibly doing um, two things, um, so yeah. Okay, so for the first thing, we are actually going to just get on into this, and I actually think now that I think about it, I think I need to actually switch up my, um, yeah, my aging. I think that for my personal game, it's longer, it's set longer than what I would play for, um, yeah, my LPs. So this is obviously my, um, what I play on, on my personal games, if you were wondering. You can pause it and look and see what it is, but, um... Yeah, I don't play that long of a lifespan for my LPs just because it will be a hundred years later and we'll still be trying to like get through it. So I did not mean to put these on that. I meant to put them on 27. All right, there we go. All right, so the first thing we are actually going to do... We're going to be working on um, two things. We'll probably only complete one of them, but we are going to... Um, actually, you know what? I need to even make sure that I've got it installed, because now that I think about it, I, I don't know if I do. <laughs> so, we're going to go in here and... Um, yes. Okay, so one of the things that we actually are going to need to complete at some point is to fix up this car. Um, so obviously it's not going to be something I'm going to sit here and, you know, knock out in one episode. But I want to start working on it. So what I actually want him to do is, first of all, I want him to come on over here and accept some gifts. Because I have quite a few. So let's get off that skating rink. And the second thing I want him to do is I want him to... Every day in, in this game, every day he's awake and whatever, um, we'll come out and we'll either work on the engine or the body. So today we're going to start with the engine. Because if the engine's not working, the car ain't running. So let's go ahead and just work on that. We're going to work on it um, for one hour. Should we work on it until it improves? Or until it's complete. Oh my goodness, no. Let's just do for an hour. We'll do an hour each time. And the reason I don't want him to like pound this out like and work on it for a long period of time. Because this actually will drain his entire energy bar to the extreme. Like you're going to see it's going to go down really fast. So I do want him to just do it the one time. Um, and this will this isn't going to be our actual badge that we're going to complete in this episode. Because what I want to try and do is I want to try and get him to complete a uh, badge each episode if I can. And eventually this will complete. You know what I'm saying? So then I won't have to do a second thing. I don't know how many times you have to work on each and every part of this. But that's why I want him to start working on it and start knocking it out. Because honestly, I ain't got time for this. Like this is going to take a while. So it's going to be a couple of episodes or a couple of days at least. Maybe a week or two. I'm not really 100% sure. I don't really do this very often, um, but eventually it'll give him a car. So it's kind of beneficial. We won't take this taxi no more. So I'm kind of excited. But we're going to get Quentin to go ahead and grab these um, these gifts because they're starting to really pile up in here. And I know it's been a really long time since I've taken any, and I'm sorry about that. But the first one is from Neil Sun. It says, thank you so much. Well, you're still very welcome, and thank you for the fern keeper deluxe thank you so much for that i am able to send back gifts so that is what i'm gonna do and i try to get, send you guys the luxury if i can just because i feel like that might give you guys better things you guys have to let me know though thanks for the fern keeper oops for what clinton quinton in my um bucket list challenge lp all right, and then we'll copy that. Send that out to you. It's from Gordon Wizard two three two. This is actually me, folks. Um, that's my personal account. I'm gonna try and change this name because I don't really like it. So, 
Um, this, I just said for any LP. I'm not really going to send back to myself, but I am going to accept it. And I got a whiteboard, so thank you so much from to myself. Um, this is to Possess a Girl 1015, or from, excuse me. It says, please open this in any LP. All right, I'm going to take it here. We just got a TV. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Don't we have to watch TV for one of our things? <gasps> I hope you could hear that whisper. I really, really do. But that made me so excited. I think that's really honestly something I had to do. Oh, girl. Post it. Um, and I'm actually going to make yours a little bit um, better. Because I think, remember when we were trying to find a TV for like 100 years and we couldn't find one? Oh, my goodness. Um, Finn... Searching all around for a TV. This is perfect. I'm not screaming at you. I hope you know that. I'm just really excited. You'll know that. The next one's from Abby2193. It's a message from the game. Take it here. We just got a desk and a chair. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to send you back a gift as well. And I'm going to put desk and chair all right moving on up the next one is from these are all from you scary tagata it's a message from the game thank you so much for the whiteboard all right girl i'm not calling you girl because if you're a guy i wouldn't want you to be offended i'm just saying like that's how i speak white board all right moving on up um Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for all the gifts. I really do appreciate it. It's really awesome. Manatree 900. It's a message from the game. Let's take it here. We got a skill booster elixir. So thank you so much. And this is actually my last gift of the day. And since you sent me a supernatural gift, that's what I'm going to send back to you. And skill booster. So if we wanted to build a skill, now would be the time to do it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everyone, for all of the gifts. I really appreciate each and every one of them. Now we have lots of things to either put out in our house or whatever. Um, so that's exciting. I'm really excited about that. All right, so we're just going to work on this one time. Like I said, it'll get him going and get him feeling better. Um, and then we can go from there. See, he does want to watch TV. He's had that wish for like a thousand years, and now we can actually complete it. So I'm really excited about that. He also wants to prepare some great autumn salad, hence the great part. So... Keep that in mind. Um, and we do need to group up with the marksman. So we will be doing that. And this is also building him a skill. So that's fine. We can we can be good with that. All right. This is a pretty cute um, house. But um, we, we will be changing things up here soon. I know you guys are probably excited to see some more um, things around this world. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys some more of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I would answer that, but I want him to complete this one whole bar. So I don't want to like stop him because then to start him, I would have to like guesstimate where he was at and it's just, it's too much work. So unfortunately person on the phone, unless you continue to call us once this bar is completed, um, we're not answering. So you can either hang up or move on to the next person. All right. So we're gaining some handiness skill. That's awesome. All right. So, what do you think, buddy? Okay. And now, if you look at his energy, it has dropped quite dramatically. But that's okay. Because you know what? We'll be okay. So, the smartphone is not ringing anymore. But we did work on our car. Feel good about that. I got that completed. And now, I'm actually going to drop on in here. I want to give him his TV so he can go ahead and watch that. I love how I just set this out here and just was like... That's good. <laughs> um, okay, so he's got his computer here. Um, here we go. Here's the TV we've all been waiting for. Let me go ahead and get that placed. Um, man, this house is so tiny. It's so sad. So small. We might have to do something about that. We may either have to move or I don't know. All right, so I'm not going to pull anything else out because I know he needs the rest of this. And you know what, for right now, because I don't really have any way to play this, 
gonna probably put it in here and I'll also put this chair in here just keep it in our inventory for right now um can I put this in? I can put this next to the sink that's kind of cute and stereo we got a stereo already in the house which is right there so I'm not gonna go too far out I'm gonna keep the rest of it though in the in our pocket or whatever and we'll go from there all right we're gonna watch some TV uh, get that wish out of the way. He does next want to probably buy an oven worth a little bit more than the one he has. And we can actually do that. That's something we can do. Um, we have to get rid of this probably. It'll give us some money. I mean, I'm not really wanting to go to university. But I think some of the things on the list do have to be completed there, which is perfectly fine. I understand and we will do them. All right, this man is just fishing away. It's awesome. So we're just waiting for him to finish watching TV. And when he is done, we can have him go use the bathroom. And we'll have him take a shower as well. I mean, why not? We're in there. We might as well get her done. All right, there we go. And he doesn't actually have any other wishes to knock in. So I think we're going to stop him. And I, he wants to um, serve up some great autumn salad so we're actually gonna just have lunch and see if he can make great autumn salad I'm not sure he can but we'll try okay so obviously that wasn't the whim or the bucket list item that we were working on we're just starting to work on that one so the one we're actually going to be working on is that we need to Hmm. I'm still deciding whether I want to do one that from under be daring and leave your comfort zone or challenge yourself because the one that we're kind of working on right now with the car is under the challenge yourself so I feel like I should be choosing one from the bottom so maybe just maybe oh I kind of actually have a good one we're gonna go do no we're gonna go do all right I am gonna turn that off because I don't really want to hear it I know what we're gonna go do. I don't really know how I'm gonna get a picture of it, but I'll have to figure it out. Alright. Hopefully this is great. Because that's what he wanted to make. Keeping my fingers crossed. I love the way you have a smoke detector. It should be like way over here. Not way over here, but whatever. What quality? Oh, he wants to actually increase that. Just normal. Okay, well, we're going to eat it. Because you know what? We're kind of hungry. And you know, a salad will never make you fat, honestly. I actually just had salad in real life. So that was fun. All right. So I know the one we're going to work on. Man, I really wish you were in Jeremy, but we'll go for it. And there's 20 days left until fall. That sounds about right. Mm. Mm. We have been knocking out these challenges left and right. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, I mean, these, these challenges, some of them are going to take a little bit more time. So that's why, like with the car, I want to start it before. Especially because I can work on it slowly. You know what I mean? I can work up towards that. There is some other things like we'll probably start working towards. What's going on? Hello? Hello? Game? Hi. <laughs> Hello? What happened? No! Oh, I think it's coming back. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened. It was like, girl, we're having a spaz attack. It's okay. It's alright. Okay, I actually... Here's what I actually want to do. I want you to plan an outfit real quick. I don't normally do this on camera, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And before you do this, oh my goodness, before you do this, let's turn off the music because it'll get really loud. So we'll just mute it right now before we even get in there. We can unmute it when we come back out. So let's plan an outfit, buddy. Okay. Here is what we're going to do. I think his favorite color is yellow, correct? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just gave him, like, boxers. So, we're actually going to give him a second outfit here. Um, and the reason we're going to do this is because he is going to actually go 
for his um for his opportunity or his bucket list item he's gonna actually have to go scuba diving so we're actually gonna be going scuba diving or snorkeling I mean so we're gonna need some cool snorkeling gear you know and so we're actually gonna get him some cool snorkeling gear and um, we'll get him one of these masks um, <clears throat> change this to yellow and we'll make this a lighter gray and more like gray and what happens if I that looks, that looks fine all right and then um yeah so this is this is just swimming in a pool outfit Lusa. and this will be more like snorkeling outfit Ogla. you know what I mean and it's got like his cool snorkel gear and I'm actually gonna change the color of this to more like this so it's more like you know his colors and then we'll make this gray and I'm actually gonna make these gray because I think that's kind of cool looking so it's a little bit different of an outfit you know all right that is what I actually wanted to do because we're gonna go snorkeling for our, for our, um, our bucket list item since we are working on something under the category of challenge yourself um, we will be daring and leave our comfort zone for this so what we're actually gonna do is we're going to change our outfit to somewhere to okay and now what I'm actually gonna do here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and be smart about this because we obviously have to get a photo correct so I'm actually gonna pull up um, All right, we're gonna do this we're gonna put two mirrors at the end of this and I actually just want to take this and make it like a white color the wood is what I'm talking about and then I just want to put it on this wall okay all right and now I want him to go ahead and camera take a photo Okay, it's not actually going to show him in the photo. That didn't work. Um, shoot, how am I going to get him to take a photo of snorkeling? Um, hmm. Alright, well I don't really know. But I want you to boat here real quick. Is he actually going to take, like, his boat, or is he just going to boat? Like, um, or is he just going to take, like, a taxi boat? Okay. get out there get boating out there oh he's gonna take his boat okay that works now while you're in this yeah I don't really know but it is a really pretty like nighttime picture you can like see the lighthouse way over there and then the world. Alright. There's our tiny little home. Literally, I feel like sometimes it's just a closet compared to the rest of the homes here. Alright. Now, I want you to snorkel. And I kind of hope... Okay, he did put on the right outfit. I was going to be like, I kind of hope he puts on the right outfit. Because I'd be kind of upset if he didn't. So there we go and it's just peaceful and he's just a snorkeling dweeb 
Okay, I don't think we can, like, take a photo in the ocean. But, um, if I have to take a photo of just the ocean, like, itself, and put that it was a snorkeling thing, we all know that we snorkeled, you know what I'm saying? And we have the outfit to, you know, go with it. So I think that could work. Um, obviously, he is kind of getting tired, so we are going to need to kind of head home at some point soon. But for right now, we can keep snorkeling. You know, one thing I kind of wish that they had added into the game earlier was the sharks. Um, because I know that you can put, like, that spawners for the sharks to appear, um, like, on the top of the water. And I kind of just wish that they would have put those in, in maybe, like, base game or something. Just so that you could kind of see the sharks and it would give, like, you know, that cool effect. But at the same time, like, I understand why it came with Island Paradise, but it, I don't know. I just feel like it would have been cool to have it in base game. Just for, like, the facts of something like this. But that's all right. And this town is so freaking pretty at night. Like, that reminds me of stuff where I live. Like, um, I just think it's so cool. Actually, cool story while he's just snorkeling. I know some of you guys know I had a baby this year. And um, from my window of, like, where I was recovering after giving birth... Um, from my window at the hospital, I, there was actually a building that's kind of like this. Um, but it actually was the tip of it like this was changing from like green to purple and pink and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my gosh. And obviously I'm not he from here. So it was more exciting for me than it was for my, um, my boyfriend. But oh my God, it was just so amazing. Like I was so in love, like, with the views. I even took photos, and it's kind of funny to say, like, I'm in the hospital with my baby, and this is the picture I'm taking. But it was so pretty. Like, how could you not want to take a photo of that? You know what I mean? And not only that, but it is a memory that I'll have forever about, like, the moment, like, when I was in that room recovering and, like, you know, just the joys that you share of that moment, especially, obviously, your baby, but, like you know, on top of that, everything else that's going on or around you is really awesome to remember, try to remember. Um, and that's something that I'll always remember. I'll always remember that moment. I first saw those like lights of the downtown of where I live. Um, because I'm actually not from like a big city. Um, so to live in a city now, like a quite a big city now is like, it's really different. It's really hard to explain, but I'm sure some of you have have either lived in a city and then moved out of it and it was, like, completely different or vice versa. Or maybe you've, like, vacationed in a city before, you know, and you've seen, like, the downtown area at night and it just, like, all lit up. It was, like, you know, it blew your mind. That's kind of me. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I really was, like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. And, obviously... He was like, it's nothing. It's normal here. But to me, it was like, oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it looks like we found something. Alright, so I'm actually going to have you go here. So, while snorkeling, he came across an emerald. Okay, awesome. I did tell him to stop snorkeling, but he hasn't quite figured that out yet. And he did want to go snorkeling. He wants to go snorkeling in the ocean. Um, but it's just an emerald that he found. It's nothing too spectacular. But I do want to get a picture of the ocean because he obviously can't take a photo in his snorkeling gear, which really stinks. If he could do a selfie, like in the Sims 4, I would totally do it, but he can't. Um, and I don't have anyone else to help him out in that manner. And I don't think we know anyone well enough to ask them to move in. I mean, we technically could ask, like, Sneeko Marks to move in with us and just be, like, our roommate. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. Come on, buddy. Stop snorkeling. He's like, I don't want to. Board this boat. Okay, perfect. Now... What are you doing? 
Um, I have no idea where he's taking us, but it looks like he's going in the way that I'm hoping he's going to go, so this will be good. Okay. Are you good? Oh, jeez. Alright. Now, oh my goodness, you literally crashed, buddy. You crashed. Okay, now I want you to um, take a photo. Okay, so because we did it at night, I'm just going to take a picture of the ocean and hope it comes out really nice. Obviously. And this is number eight for us. So this is our eighth bucket list item, which is insane to think about. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, and we do bucket list number eight. Snorkeling. All right, so bucket list number eight. Snorkeling. All right, so we've finished that, and now we can go home because he's actually really tired, and it is pretty darn late. So we're going to go home, get him to bed, and we can go from there. I At the end of the series, all of these photos in here that um, he has collected throughout, I'm going to put them in those, um, those like, constantly changing... Um, frames that go on your wall and then we'll have it displayed in his house at the end of this challenge and then you guys will get to see kind of like what that's all about so yeah that's pretty cool i'm really excited to get to that point where you know we're not living in such a tiny little home but that is coming up rather sooner than later because um we do have a couple of things we have to actually do with the house and so we'll eventually have to move out of this house to be able to do those things. We can actually do them here. I think we can do maybe one of them here, but that's about it. Like, nothing more than that. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Can't wait to, um, you know, get a bigger home and things. Maybe get some extra people in the home, even though they won't have a bucket list of things that they need to do. Just to have the extra person, just to kind of see what they're up to or whatever. Or to jump to and just to have a life. Um, I know I originally said he probably would never get married. But actually one of the bucket list items is to get married. So that's unfortunate because I kind of wanted to play this game differently. I didn't want to do it the same old way. And I wanted to actually have it where um, my sim actually wasn't to get married. Just for the fact of then we wouldn't have to worry about it. But um, yeah, it actually ends up that we have to eventually get married. Um, we don't have to stay married. We could actually get married and then get a divorce or cheat on them and they find out whatever. We could do whatever we want to do. Um, it's our story, our game, and that's how it goes. But okay, so he is actually getting up now. And I've, as you've seen, I set him up for the bathroom needs and to go get his breakfast. I'm so excited that we got our next bucket list item done. It doesn't really look like much on the picture, but it's just like a dark picture of the ocean, um, which eventually, like I said, you'll get to see that. All right, so he is actually just taking care of his bathroom needs, and then we're going to eat, and I have him just making some pancakes, and then um, I am going to have him come out, and today we're going to work on the car's body, because if the body isn't fixed, as well as the engine at the same time, pretty much, Obviously, the body is going to be so bad that it's not going to matter how great of an engine it has. It's literally going to snap in half driving down the road. So, we got to make sure the body is up to date as well. And we're just going to do that one time as well. And then we're going to head out into the town. And we're actually going to start working on some things that um, I know later on we're going to have to do really well. And I don't think he even has those skills. He has quite a few skills, actually, that I didn't even know he had. So I'm actually pretty proud of that because I didn't even know he had all those skills. Like, I didn't know he had that many skills in cooking. And he has one in gardening. He has one in guitar. He has one in science. He has one in handiness. And he has one in scuba diving. Where did he get science from? 
When did we work on that skill? I don't even remember. He must have read like a book or something at the very beginning. I can't honestly remember, but he wants to improve his cooking skill and he still wants to make that great autumn salad, which we will eventually, hopefully make. Maybe we'll come home today for lunch and make him make some more autumn salad if he can. I don't even know if he has any lettuce in here. I'm pretty sure that's what you use, right? Yeah, he's got one. So we might have to go gardening a bit more and get some good stuff. But right now, I'm not too worried about it. Um, we're just going to cook and then go work on the car. And then we're going to head out. And I actually have to think about where we could go. I don't know where we could actually go to do this This task that I've kind of thought up that we would complete but we'll have to try and figure it out all right so we got some pancakes here and they're apple pancakes so that's pretty nice I honestly my favorite kind of pancakes are strawberry um but I only like it if it's like real chunks of cut up strawberries um, my mom used to make it when I was younger, and I was so in love with them. I think at one point in my life, when I was, like, really fit and playing basketball and stuff, like, my appetite was through the roof. But at that point in time, I think that I actually ate, like, 12 of them in one sitting. I know that seems like, like, not that much, but if you think about it, a pancake is really filling. I can eat, like, maybe two now, and I'm like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> I can't do any more than that. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty, pretty crazy to think that I used to eat like 12 of them and now I've like went down 10. So it's insane. It just goes to show you how high your metabolism can be as a teenager and like how much extra you needed to eat to like keep up with it. It's insane though. All right. So we'll just get you to work on this car. And um, then we're going to head out. And I um, I want to try and work on something, like another task that eventually later on is going to take us quite a while to complete. It's not going to be something we're just going to jump into. Um, so I do want him to start kind of knocking that out. And it will give us a couple of things to work on each and every day. Maybe this and one of the other thing as well. And then, um, you know, just it'll give us things besides just running around pretty much aimlessly. And then obviously we have to complete our one item and then we should be good. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And unfortunately, this does ruin our energy bar, but that's OK. We can always take naps or whatever we need to do to keep our energy bar up if we had to. Or I'm sure we could get like drinks that would help us with our energy. So we could do that as well. All right. So. He is just about done here, and um, that's good because I actually want to get heading out. And I might actually invite out um, Glummo if I can, just because he really wants to um, like group up with him. But I have to remember which one he is. He's this one. Okay, so we are going to actually invite him out, see if he'll go with us. I really hope he kind of will. But again, I don't really know where I'm going. So I'm going to try and go to the art gallery and see if um, it's what I'm looking for is there. I'm not really 100% sure it will be or um, a lot of times it isn't. Um, I know a couple of times it is there. So, all right. Well, we're going to go by ourselves then, you little freaking jerk. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, people are setting off fireworks because obviously it's almost 4th of July here in... Um, the United States and people are really excited it's literally the third so if you can hear that I really do apologize there's nothing I can honestly do about it because like they do that all day long like so either I record through it or I don't record at all and I would rather record through it and um, again like my son as well like he's awake now so my time is already limited all right so I want to come on in here is this like an actual painting? Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Okay, um, oh no. I feel like it's not gonna actually be in here. Oh, and he's getting fussy, so I might have to take a break for a second and fix whatever his needs are. I really hoped he wasn't going to do this. I was hoping he was gonna be really good throughout this, but it's not actually here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around town and find one, and then I will come right back um, so that I can get right into it and we don't waste all of our time. So I'll be right back, guys.
Alright guys, so I have looked all around town and I actually can't find what I'm looking for. So, um, you guys should leave suggestions. Do you guys think I should start editing the world, um, so that I can complete these bucket list items? Or continue to wait for you guys to pretty much send me the gift, um, in the mail and then go from there? Because I'm not really sure what I should do at this point, um... So yeah, that's something I also could like dumpster dive for it maybe and see if we could get it that get something we could do it that way. Um so you guys let me know what you guys think I should do because I'm kind of like at a loss for words. I mean we searched forever for the TV, hence I did find one around town now that um we could have used this whole time and it kind of makes me upset about it, but uh, I mean I can't really do anything now. But um yeah, so that's something that I found that I don't need anymore because we got one. But at the same time, like, this thing that um, I'm, like, you know, trying to find, I can't find it in the world. So I am going to let him dumpster dive this time um, just to get through the rest of this episode. Um, but at the same time, I don't really know what else to have him do. And I also want him to start maybe meeting some of these people as well. So we're going to greet her and we'll go ahead and give her a friendly introduction and we'll go from there. Do they have the same hairstyle? Because that looked like the same hairstyle to me. Boy, I just took care of you. You are fine. I just need to do this and then we will go back to spending time together. I mean, come on. Um... So yeah, so I'm just going to have him go ahead and dumpster dive real quick um, and see if he can come up with whatever he, what, what we need. If he can't, then I mean, you know, we can do something else, but um, yeah. Child of mine, you are a pain in my butt. Alright guys, well, I hope I can keep him quiet for the rest of this. I don't know, we'll see. Um... But yeah, so we got a packing sack, and what else do we have? What else do we have? I don't know, uh, a soccer ball? Yeah, those are not what I'm looking for. Not in the slightest. Not what I was looking for, but I mean, they work. We can always sell them too if we want to. We don't have to keep everything we get, but... Um, if we want to keep them, we can. I mean, we could use them. It's not like we can't. It's not like we have restrictions of what we can and can't use. So, I mean, we could go with it. But, um, yeah. So, now we're stinky and we might need to go home to get a shower or go somewhere to get a shower at least. Because we are stinking up a storm. And there is so many people here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Okay, so she thinks we're hot. Oh, girl. Well, you know what? Don't we all? Okay, so let's go ahead and greet him. We can greet her. We can greet him. Greet him. Anyone else? No one? All right, well, we're gaining celebrity skills, so... That might eventually help us. I don't I don't know all the things we have to do. I haven't read everything, but I just know a couple of things. So I was looking through the list today. Like, you know, trying to figure out what to do. But I kind of am curious because I know eventually we're going to have to, like, be with someone. So I'd rather like to ask people their careers, ask them their ages, and maybe ask them if they're single if we can. Maybe even gender preference. Maybe alma mater. Like, get all those questions out of the way. So we at least know stuff about them. Where is Ask If Single? Is that not a thing? Um, I feel like it's in a romantic. But I don't even see it there, so I have no idea. She's in culinary arts. Which we kind of knew. Ask her sign. You can ask her if she's single. Now my son's smiling at me. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Smiles is good. Crying is horrible. I mean, I get that's how they communicate. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Okay. So. 
Yeah. What do we think? What do we think? Is she single? Come on. I don't know any of these people here in this town. So that's also a problem for me. Like, like if you go to Sunset Valley, like I can tell you pretty much who's single and who's not. But here, I probably can't. Because I don't really know anyone. Um, did we actually ask? I didn't see the pop-up, so hold up. Um, there's somebody in there that's really crazy. She's got a community high school. It's family oriented. Their signs are compatible and she's straight. Girl, you are looking better and better every second. And we know that you're, we know that you're, um, not just a bump on a log pretty much. Because we know that you are in a career. So let's ask her age. Um, I don't think it told us if she was single, but I could look in here maybe. Um, I don't think he actually asked. Oh, we need to actually ask. Go ahead and chat with her. Go ahead and um, it's who's about cooking because obviously she likes to do that. Um, let's see. What else can we do? We can brighten her day. I think he's getting sick from dumpster diving, so that's where he's headed to. He's not just running away and not listening to me like, you know, sometimes they do, but no. Yeah, he's not feeling so hot because he was dumpster diving. Ooh, we got a party invitation, and we're actually going to go. We are going to go to this party. Parties are good. Parties are good when you're trying to make friends, friends, friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So hopefully this girl is going to listen to me, because I have a lot to tell you, girl. It's Dino. We're not really into hanging out with Dino. We wanted to just hang out with Glummo, I think. Yeah. But that didn't really happen. Okay, let's see. Can we ask? Okay, ask if single. That's really the question I'm looking for. She's 29 days older than us, which means she's already an adult. She's actually 16 days into being an adult, so that gives her about 12 more days. Are you freaking joking? Whoa. Listen to a complaint. Oh, I was like, girl. All right, we know she's straight, but, like, I wanted her to, um, I wanted to know if she was single because I'm curious. But you know what? We're actually stinking up a storm, and so before the party starts, let's go home and grab a shower real quick. Um, cause we don't want to be heading out to a party in our stinky selves with the green smoke trailing behind us for a mile. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this taken care of and then we'll, we should be getting pretty much ready, I think, for the party. I think it should be coming up here in the near future. Normally they give them to you a couple hours before, so we should have just, an, that's probably it right there. Ooh, black boss. All right. So, let's see. Let's get him home. Get this shower taken care of real quick. We can actually um, answer our phone, too. Answer phone. There we go. And the guy cleaned our house, which is awesome. Go ahead and... I'm friends with Norma McGinnis. Yeah, we can do that, actually. So go ahead and use and take your shower. And then, because we're hungry, if we have enough time, we'll go ahead and make up some autumn salad for ourselves. Hopefully, we'll get that great autumn salad out of the way. If not, then maybe we'll level up our, our cooking skill, and that'll be good as well. And if we did move her in, because she is in cooking, you know, she could cook us all of our meals. Hey! So, we wouldn't have to cook anymore. We wouldn't have to worry about that. We could just have our girl do it for us. I mean, if she didn't want to be our girl eventually, you know... You can always move friends in, too, I feel like. I feel like friends live together. Especially nowadays. Like, if we became good friends with her and she's single, like, if even if we didn't want to marry her or something, we could still have her move in. I don't see why not. Because technically, like, they're friends. Like, and I've lived with my friends before, you know, and, and had to deal with that whole situation. Um, but I think a lot, it's more common nowadays now that like jobs don't pay you enough to cover your bills by yourself. And on top of that rent and stuff is like sky high, but I'm just saying. Anyways, 
So we'll just get him to make some salad and see if we can get that completed. And then hopefully the party will start because it's getting kind of late. It's already almost 5.30 in game. Like when is, I didn't read the invitation to be honest and that's my fault. But like when is this party starting? Because I feel like it should have already started. But maybe not. And my son is talking up a storm. So if you can hear him, I apologize. Some people think it's cute. Some people might find it annoying. Um, but it's not like I can make him be quiet. <laughs> he's just a baby, so he talks when he wants to talk, and he's quiet when he wants to quiet, be quiet, pretty much. And, uh, he's been becoming a little bit more talkative. I do want to kind of update you guys about, you know, my situation, but, um, there's so much going on right now for me that, um, it's really hard for me to even just record, like, a video, so... All right, well, it must not be great because it didn't go away, but it is normal, so it's not horrible. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves that plate of food. And we didn't level up our cooking, but I think we're kind of close. We're very close, actually, which is nice. I'm just waiting for this party invitation to come through so that I can go to the party and then I'll know what we're headed out to do um, when we start the next episode. But, man, it's taking a little time. All right, so he's just going to eat, 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 eat. And we do have quite a bit of money, so I actually think I might know which one we're actually going to do next for the bucket list. Um, but obviously, I kind of swap between them because, as I've told you, there's three categories. And so I take, like, one from the top category, one from the middle category, and one from the bottom, and then I go back to the top. So if it's not in the top category because we're at the bottom, we just did the bottom one, then I'll probably... Um, I'll probably have to wait a little bit to do it, but that's okay. Because then that means we can just make a little bit more money before that happens. Um, but yeah, so we're, we've got the car that we're working on. Hold on, I want to put our boat back out because I don't want to feel like, oh my god, it's stolen, and it's actually not. So I'll jump over to him in just a second. I'll just speed him up so he gets there a little faster. Once I see him out of the car, I know I can put it out. There we go. And there we go. That gives us our boat back on our lot, which probably increases the value of our home as well, which is probably good. Um, I don't know how much of this stuff we'll actually take with us when we move. Where are we? Okay. I think we're at the Glummo's house. So we're actually going to come on in here and we, or no, the Marx's house. I mean, not Glummo. Glummo is a Marx, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Well, you're just going to giggle over here while I record. That's okay, too. All right, is anyone else here, or is it just us? Because, I mean, that's fine. They have um, horrifying salad, which is bad, really bad. Um, what is going on with this house? Like, look at the dirty plate, the nasty salad. They've got, like, waffles or something started over here. Like, it's like this family doesn't know what's going on. But anyways, there's not really much going on at this party, but we're going to come on inside because I don't want to be, like, stranded outside when I come back, so I at least know what's kind of going on. Because I do want to kind of have an idea of what I was working on. All right. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, I'm talking about my kid. Um, okay, so they've got, like, a newspaper here. Um, you know what? Because there's not really anything going on here, we're just going to use this newspaper for our own advantages. And I am going to go ahead and do this, because I do want to see what's up in the world. Um, and we'll check the weather as well. So when we come back, we're going to be going ahead and looking at the, p the paper at this party, because there's nothing else really going on. Um, and then we'll probably head home and get our rest, and then we'll work on our car and grab gifts and, and such in the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys are looking for the bucket list, um, challenge rules, I will have it linked down below. Um, so if you guys wanting are wanting to do this challenge, you are free to do so. Um, if any of you guys have anything that you think needs to be added to the list, let me know as well and I will add it if I find that, you know, I think it would be something that we should do. 
Um, and then if you guys are interested in doing something kind of like this for The Sims 4 eventually someday, let me know and I could kind of maybe come up with it. Or if some of you guys wanted the bucket list challenge for your Sims 4 um, game because you don't have like The Sims 3. Um, I'm willing to try to revert the rules for Sims 4 as well. They might actually have one, but I don't know. But anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All my social media links are in the description below, so definitely check those out. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.